and already our breathing and the inhalation of the in breath and out breath finds its perfect rhythm and this rhythm comes naturally effortlessly as there is the great descending and ascending of energies to meet, connect, and commune in a most sacred and holy place. And as we reach and strive up, so too does the benevolence of loving hearts and beings reach down to meet us. It is the ascending and descending staircase to heaven. And so we find ourselves in this point of the myriad of worlds that exist in the loving mind and heart of the Supreme Creator of all things. A place of respite, a place of peace, a place of perfect balance. And this loving grace pours in now in this connection of hearts and minds, creating a singularity of higher service to the divine. It is this love, it is this pulsing of our soul that moves us forward in each and every step we take upon our path of ever unfolding awareness consciousness, bringing us closer and deeper to the truth of who and what we are, our reason, our purpose for being. And so there is now in this most eternal sacred moment, a gathering of the expanded hearts and minds of the Ami Shaddai, the family of light. The family of light has prepared this most sacred spot, this most sacred space, this most sacred experience. And we have flashbacks of ceremonial garb, a sense of reverence and holiness, a sense of ceremony and ritual. And somehow this brings us back, brings us back deep into our own cosmic memory of the myriad of lives we have lived and the experiences we have had that has brought us to this moment in our current lifetime, our current experience. That we have the tools, somehow we have and know the knowledge and the wisdom that we carry deep, deep in our bones. For there has been and continues to be the continuous flow of life, boundless and eternal, expansive and multiple and diverse. And in this stream of life streams, somehow there is one singularity that moves and ebbs in and out and is continuous. And that is who we are as a divine, sacred soul, eternal, a consciousness, 
eternal and one with the divine where love is present and eminent in all things. And it is through this love there is this experience of unfathomable peace, unshakable. And in this love, there is perfect balance. And the eternality of continuing creations and diversity that is boundless and ever going. But still yet with the understanding that it is all one interconnection into a kaleidoscope of divine brilliance and radiance and beauty that is beyond human comprehension. But its emanation, its sensing, its feeling, we are connected to. And it is our heartfelt desire to bring this once again into our lives and into the lives of all who surround us. Bring this into our own sacred earth and for all of her life because we have and still hold this sacred memory. And even in the most challenging of times, when things seem hard and dark, somehow this ancient, ancient cosmic memory lingers. So we hold on to this cosmic memory, the memory of who and what we are. And we come here in this staircase to heaven to revitalize, to re-remember and anchor more deeply this that we hold deep within ourselves. That it begins to emanate more profoundly within us. It begins to move in a way that it is what directs us in our life. It guides us. It brings us the wisdom and the knowledge as to what to do. It brings us into a transcendence, a transcendence that moves beyond world affairs and dynamics. It is the path of wisdom. It is the path of the master. It is the path of mastery. And as we move in this sense of pageantry, we see two huge marble-like pillars, one to the right and one to the left. And we see these pillars strong and magnificent and emanating a light that is radiant and luminous. It illumines the entire space and as we look at ourselves, we are integrated easily with this light. And this sense of majesty, as we know, we are to walk through these pillars of light. And as we do with this sense of pageantry, with this sense of memory, where we intuitively know exactly what to do and allow that part of us to be free for it knows. In this sense of elevation, in this sense of divine sacredness and holiness, we put one foot in front of the other as we anchor being in the eternal now. 
And as we walk in the eternal now, the sense of eternity, the sense of infinity, the sense of boundlessness, the sense of oneness and wholeness wraps us, integrates within us, processes within us and around us until we feel, sense and know we are one inside this grand temple of light, a temple beyond our human understanding but we know it is a temple of praise, of holiness, a temple of healing and purification and balance. And as these two pillars hold this sacred space, as these pillars are integrated with other geometries around that we are and find ourselves in our perfect spot within these frequencies of illumined light. And this radiance has called forth throughout the cosmos, the radiant ones, of all expressions of the divine to surround us, even as those hold the very foundation for us to be here in this eternal now, as it holds for us our cosmic memory, our brilliance, our radiance, our magnificence, of what and who we are. A respite of our time upon the earth to reconnect more deeply with our soul, our soul purpose, our soul mission, our soul agreement, and not only our soul, but the multitude of souls in one grand soul that is within another grand soul, that is within another and another and another. And in this moment, we sense and feel the boundlessness of who and what we are and who and what we are a part of. And it is this divine, sacred boundlessness, this sense of eternity that anchors us more deeply within our soul purpose, mission, imprinted in such a way that even as we walk a physical, material, emotional, and mental world, of various imbalances, miscreations, and distortions. Integrating and tethering to the higher aspect of ourselves within this temple, so strong, held by the two pillars of light, holding the foundation of what we come from of what we are, an infusion of the rekindling of our cosmic memory, the rekindling of our divine partnerships, agreements, and mission. And so we breathe the holy sacred in-breath and out-breath. 
even as our physical, mental, and emotional bodies breathe in the sacred breath held by our experience in this higher radiant light stream, our higher selves connected to our physical, mental, and emotional bodies experiencing in this moment. That each and every holy sacred in breath and out breath is rarefied for it is integrated with this temple of illumined light, with this temple that reignites our memory and memories of our soul journey, our soul purpose, mission, and our soul's vision our soul's recognition of the family of light, of agreements and partnerships in the divine orchestration of the divine plan, our place in it, vital and important, working together as a divine collective, as the Ami Shaddai, the family of light in a multitude of dimensions and realms all one integrated with the other to create this divine experience of co-creating a higher world and worlds, bringing forth the higher vision for the sacred earth and for those celestial bodies that evolve and revolve around the great sun of Vesta Helios. And beyond that, to all the great central sons of the Galactic Mother. And so we breathe the sacred holy in breath and out breath as we are within this temple of illumined light that moves in and through us, bringing in the divine sacred codes of light structuring and restructuring our own divine crystalline matrix, connecting our own matrix to the higher matrix and the gematria of the cosmos. And within this grand gematria that we find ourselves within this temple of light, we acknowledge all those radiant beings, all those radiant ones who now surround us and give of their love and light, of their love, their support. That we can simply breathe the sacred in breath and out breath, knowing that we truly do breathe the breath of Brahma, the breath of the divine. And as a great spiritual tonic, we feel revived. We feel in one with our glorious emanation of our soul light. We feel strong and centered. We feel rejuvenated and enlightened. We feel prepared to walk upon the earth, to do what we have come to do as we stay connected and interconnected with our larger family of light, with the higher parts of ourselves, the memory of this temple, of the two pillars of light. And as we are infused with this divine sacred grace that pours in, filling us up, we think of our Earth Mother. For we are there because of her, because of the capacity of love we are capable of holding because of our commitment to our soul striving, 
because of our love of God that moves us through all and any challenges, distortions and miscreations of an earthly realm. For we are in the world, but we are not of it. And in this temple of peace, rejuvenation, cleansing, clarity, healing, we remember what we are and what we are part of. And that carries us through our earthly experiences as we feel the love of the most radiant ones pour in, loving us unconditionally, honoring and supporting us. So we fill ourselves up with this love that pours in continuously even as we move into our day-to-day -day activities, our love is ceaseless. It is ceaseless. It is ceaseless. It is ever-present. Ever-present, beloveds. No matter what, no matter the experiences, this love is ever-present. and we fill ourselves up. This whole rejuvenation, this sense of a new genesis, ever replenishing itself, correcting itself and healing itself to do the sacred work at hand in our own individual way. For we are never alone, and we are always connected to our family of light, in the highest temples of light, in the myriads of the worlds of the divine. And as we are filled up with this love and light and support, we now send it to our own Earth Mother. We fill her up as we are the catalyst on this stairway to heaven and Earth. And send her our unconditional and boundless love. And as we are filled, we fill her. And so this interconnection of this grand, radiant and beautiful co-creation of the integration of a sacred trinity, of this temple of light, of our sacred earth mother and we the divine sacred catalyst between the two. We hold our positions and we radiate, radiate our light, radiate our boundlessness and emanate our heart of compassion and unconditional love. We stay these few moments more and simply radiate as we receive, we give, and as we give, we receive.
and now holding our beloved earth mother and a re-remembering of our promise to her in all of her life and we look once again of this divine radiant temple and all the myriad of beings of radiant ones. And we re-remember our promise to them, our promise to each other, our promise to the divine. And now the thought of the return does come. And with that, walking backwards, we exit beyond the two pillars of light. And we understand this grace and blessing that has been bestowed upon us as we even walk a physical, mental, and emotional world. We intend to integrate this experience and process it and have it forever imprinted in our consciousness as a cosmic memory as to who we are, what we are, and what we are part of. And as we would want to stay forever seemingly in this perfect balance, in this peace, in this bliss, in this love, where so many have radiated their unconditional love, have filled us up. It is with great gratitude, great gratitude and humility that we now take our leave, but forever tethered forever connected as love flows ceaselessly. And wherever we may find ourselves in situations, we remember that this love flows ceaselessly. We draw in our electromagnetic field as those who have been part of this have drew, already have pulled in their electromagnetic field, giving us the opportunity to kind of release from this embrace. And we will intend to be back, to be totally grounded on the count of three. One, two, take a very deep breath in, and three, we are back, awake, alert, and we are grounded.